so hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel it's been some time that i haven't been on this channel because of some reason or the other my camera was not working for some time and i got a bit lazy as well it was season time playing gigs performances but i'm back here again do subscribe to my channel if you're watching for the first time because it's got some easy to learn step by step method of playing the guitar and songs in a very quick way okay so this song is a subscriber request by one of my subscribers and this is Maria Pitache by Remo Fernandez. Now it's got elements, I've got to be warning you that it's got elements of beginner but it goes to intermediate and then at once. So you're going to be like playing all these levels of guitar playing in this song. Right? If you can manage it as a beginner, intermediate you can progress to advance, advance easy for you guys okay so the, uh, so let me get more about this levels of guitar playing the beginners is basically the chords four chords i'll be showing you e a b7 f sharp minor okay i'm going quick also because i've got to be heading out to margao beautiful rains over there in margao and goa there's no rains and mops over here and it's cooler over there but it's cooler on uh, general in general in Goa right now okay the intermediate part is the rhythm section of the song okay so Maria Pitasha if you don't know about the song google it hear it but I'm here to show you what it sounds like so the rhythm is like this it goes like this one So it's a quick, it's a quick rhythm. It's a complicated rhythm if you're playing it for the first time, and it's got an elements of uh, a very dancey sort of a vibe. Yeah. Now the advanced part, which I'm going to be showing you, is actually playing on the piano or a keyboard in the song, and it plays like this. Okay, so we are basically playing all these parts, right? So I'll be showing you this part soon, but first of all, I'll play the song so that you get an idea about what the song is all about, right? So here we go, without further wasting time, we are on a tight schedule over here with time. Let's start. One, two, three. Oh, Maria Pitache. Oh, Maria Pitache. Oh, Maria Pitache. Oh, Maria Pitache. Oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, hey, oh Maria Pitache. Parra da mami, tu si estrivi con me. Parra di da mami, tu si estrivi con me. Alega na entre mi, tu si triste na sahi. Alega na entre mi, tu si triste na da sahi. Hope you enjoyed that one, right? A bit of mistakes I made over there because I'm not sure of the words. I have my tablet in front of me. Uh, but I hope you guys can excuse me over there, right? I'm just showing you the song and that was just an example, okay? <laughs> Learning the song. Okay, the chords first. This is for the beginners, right? So the first chord is going to be an E. Now how you play the E is that you place your fingers on the strings, right? In certain places. Now this place is on the third string over here on the first fret. The blocks are called frets. Second one is on the fifth string on the second fret. The third one is on the fourth string of the second fret. And you play it from all the strings over there. Now if you're a total beginner, I would recommend you practice counting and playing this chord for many, many times. For example, you play it like this. A one, two, 
three, four again. One, two, three, four. Right. So this is what you got to be doing if you're a total beginner, if you're really starting out for the first time. Learn these chords in this fashion. Play two bars, stop. Change to the other chord, play two bars and so on. Which I'm coming next to is the next chord is the A major chord, okay? Now you'll be playing your second finger on the second string, on the third, fourth string of yeah? Second fret, third finger on your third string, and your fourth finger below that on the second string. And you play it right from the fifth string. Total beginners, practice those two bars, four, four, okay? And keep on practicing, practicing this many, many times. Next chord is a pick up a chord, it's called the B7 chord, all right? Now, you'll be placing your first finger on the fourth string. First fret, fifth string, second finger, third string, third finger, and your first string, on the first string you place your fourth finger and you play it from the fifth string okay now the next chord is an F sharp minor chord now this chord is a very tough chord it's basically an intermediate level chord okay so an F sharp minor chord it's gonna be very hard for you to play initially but if you're a total beginner what I would recommend is that place your first finger on the first three strings you will not be able to get the sound initially. You probably get it in one or two weeks, okay? So have patience. Keep on playing this many times. I would say it would take you a month to, or two months to get this chord, okay? So have patience. This is an F sharp minor chord. Now, once you get this, an intermediate guitar player should be able to get this chord, okay? Uh, you place your third finger on the fifth string of the fourth fret and your fourth finger on the fourth string of the fourth fret and you play it from the fourth string okay you play it four times two to bars one two three four again right so what you have to do is like play this many times okay i would say two months for a total beginner okay about if you're an intermediate player, you probably know this chord by now, but if you don't know it, then you have to learn it. So you're probably as good as a beginner. So you would be playing this two two bars and play it many times as possible till you get the sound coming out like this, right? Now, the second part of the song, the level is gonna be the intermediate part and is the rhythm part, okay? So the rhythm basically is this. Break it down slow enough for you. Now I'll be showing this to you in two ways, okay? Now you gotta understand both ways to play this part, okay? Now the first way is the pattern of playing this, meaning how your hands are gonna be moving up and down, up and down, right? So in this case, it's a... So down, up, down, up, down, up, right? So down, up, 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 down, up. So it's a down, up, down, up, down, up. So you can write it down in your paper with your pen or pencil or whatever you can on your laptop and your phone also. So it's a down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, right? So it's not only about moving your finger, hands up and down and up and down, right? You gotta move it in the rhythm. Now in rhythm, what I mean is that you gotta be counting this, okay? Though, remember I've shown beginners how to count one, two, three, four. There's a count for this as well. So every time you move your hand, there's a count for it. So in this case, it's a one and a two and a. One and a two and a, 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 down up, down up, down up. So very slow. One and a two and a, one and a two and a, one and a two and a, one and a two and a. Now, if you haven't noticed, if you want to notice now, the second last beat, I put more emphasis on playing it and I play it down, okay? A bit harder. So it's the second last beat. Take a note of this. One and a two and a. Right? So focus on this, right? One and a two and a, one and a two and a. 
piano. So that's how you get the song and a play the rhythm. Somebody's playing the rhythm properly, you'll get that sort of a feel. Right? So keep on practicing this with all the chords possible, okay? Take one, two days to play it with chords and chord changes, okay? Keep on changing the chords, right? Yeah. Different places. Yeah. So let's try it now. One and a two and a 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 one and a two one and a two and a 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 one and a two one and a two and a 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 one and a two Okay, so practice this and then you can come to the song part of the practice, okay? So we'd start with A. Oh, one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two E. One and a two and a 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 two and a one and a two and a two and a two and a two and a one 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 and a two and a one. That, that's basically the whole song for you over there. Those chord changes, okay? Right. So that's the chorus part. When you come for the verse part, you start with E. One and the two and a 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 one and the Practice it like this so you can get an idea about how to play this song. Okay? So you'll have practice to play when you're actually singing the song. Okay? Now when you try, you want to use the chords playing the song, basically understand that you have to change the chords at the words of the song. For example, if I'm saying So you're changing on Aleg, see Aleg, you go to F sharp minor. Aleg and na e. Hang on. One, two, three, four. Aleg and na e. Tread me loose, see trist na ni. So Aleg, you go to F sharp minor. Aleg and na e. Tread me loose, see trist na ni. Aleg and na e. Tread me loose, see trist na ni sae. So exactly on. Trisna ni sahid. So on Trista you go to B7. Trisna ni sahid. So Saeed you go to back to E, right? So I'll play that whole part again and then we should be really done with this song. This part of the song, okay? So I start with Baratida ma miluzi is three complete. Baratida ma miluzi is three complete. Alegna is three miluzi, Trisna ni sahid. Okay, so you change it exactly on those words, okay, which I've put in on the screen for you over here, so it's going to be very easy for you to understand. Okay, now coming to the advanced part of it, which is playing on the keyboard. Now, what you have to do is that again, we'll play it slow and fast, okay? Now, you'll be playing a bar chord. Most of you have heard of a bar chord, okay, right? You've been trying a bar chord also, like intermediate class, probably you know <coughs> what is this bar chord, okay? So I'm playing basically the F sharp, F major bar shape, okay, all over on the 12th fret, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm playing the same shape over here, okay, and I'm playing this particular strings. So first parts first, the first thing what I'm going to be doing is this, okay, we play it very slow. So it's going to be 6, 5, 4, 3, 4, 3. Let's do that again one more time and then you can practice this many times. 6, 4, 3, 1, two, so 6, 4, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 4, 3, 4, 3. Okay, let's do that again since I made a mistake over there. 6, 5, 4, 3, 4, 3. One more time, six, five, four, three, four, three. Yeah. So when you're playing it fast, try to build up your speed. 
So one, two, three, four. Hey, you can practice it like this, okay? One, two, three, four. Again, a one, two, three, four. Right? Play this many times as possible and then go for the next part. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, three, two. Yeah. One, two, three, four, three, two. Similarly, what we've done on top, we're gonna to be play practicing the same thing down. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, three, two. One, two, three, four, three, two. Okay, one, two, three, four, three, two. Now how you handle your plectrum moving up and down is very important. What I'm doing over here is that I'm doing an up, 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 down, down, up. Right? So it's a up, 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 down, up, up. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, two, four, three, two. One, two, three, four, three, two. Up, 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 down, down, up. Yep. Yeah. So combining it together when you've got the up and down practice it combining together very slow first and then you can go faster on it right so let's do that slow and then fast again one two three four again one two three four right once you've got this part going on practice this so much that you can play it at a proper speed okay which is the speed like this one two three four so you play three times and you go for the chord changes which basically we're playing we're playing e e over here on all the octaves so playing the e over here on the d shape okay from the fourth fret we're playing the e over here from the seventh fret and we're playing the E over here with the F sharp shape on the 12th fret and we're playing again on the 16th fret with the D shape, right? So so basically what we're doing over here, we're playing with the same rhythm. So you just have to move on the counts. One, two, three, four. Right? Let's do that again. Or oh, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right? So that's what I'm doing over here. I'm playing the plucking part first. Three times. One, two, three, four. Right? So that basically covers the whole part of this song. Yep. Um, and uh, I think so like it was like quite and uh, what we call it like it, it, it's quite deep to practice and play the song you got to practice this a lot because it's not that easy it, it's gonna take you like a month or two months or three months depending upon the level and the practice hours that you put in like okay but I think so like I've shown you everything what you have to be practicing you got to practice put in the house and then you should be able to play this song okay? so for the last time this is Colin Dyes do subscribe to my channel guys hope you have a wonderful day also like uh, and a great time practicing this song tell me uh, if you have any questions about this song here if you haven't understood something yeah so the main key is that you got to practice this song okay? So for the last time, Maria Pita She signing off. Oh Maria Pita She, 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 hey oh Maria Pita She. Oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria 
Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you next time for the next video. Bye bye. And peace and love.